This is Jeff Foster for SonicFire Pro 5. In this video, I want to show you a round trip workflow with Premiere Pro CS5 and SonicFire Pro 5 to add a soundtrack to this video clip. Uh, now, this project has an intro, which is uh, full volume. Then it has to cut down some because there's some uh, voice over here. Then it comes down even more where there's some interview clips. And that kind of repeats uh, that process throughout this whole piece. And then we have an outro at the end here that needs to come back up to uh, full volume and then a resolve. Well, the best way to get all of this information into Sonic Fire Pro 5 is to render a short video clip, which I've already done. So let's open up Sonic Fire Pro 5. And then let's bring in a, a video clip. We'll come up here and choose our video. We selected our video. We can see it's up here. And we can scroll through there. Now I want to zoom in a bit so I can see uh, a little more of my timeline here. I'll zoom in one more time. So we can scrub through here, see all the different points where we're going to have to make some changes to our soundtrack once we've selected it. But in this case, I want to use those changes as the guide in selecting the uh, soundtrack in the first place. So what I'm going to do is add markers along the timeline here, and those markers will dictate when I've got a change that ha is going to happen either in a voiceover or an interview or some place where I need to go up and down in the intensity of the soundtrack. And that's the whole key here. So I'm going to first start with my uh, voiceover. This week. Okay, so that starts right about here. This. So I'm going to add a marker here. Then I'll come down to the next point where the uh, interview will start with producer Bob Curtez about doing live compositing on TV. Right there. So I'll add a marker there. And then I'll keep working down the line here. And then I'll come back uh, to you here in a minute when I've got all my markers set. And we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so I've just added my last marker in here where I've got a major change in the audio portion. And I'm going to use these markers to help me decide what uh, pace of music and what styles I've got uh, available to me. And I come down here to the spotting bin. Go select the first keyframe here so that you see that it actually selects all the keyframes and analyzes it. And I can look down here at the tempo and I see here that 170 is the highest rated here. So I'll click that. Come over here to Express Track. This week on DB Tech Week. It and it picks something right at uh, the 170 mark. Well, I'm going to come up here to the tempo. I'm going to look at my faster ones here. I'm going to choose the one that I know works with this so I can show you the tool. I'm going to uh, select this one. And then, uh, as you saw in the overview video, uh, I chose Rough It as my actual piece that I ended up using for the full length. So it gives us that little uh, bass intro and gets into the music and we're able to edit out uh, the pieces as we need to along the timeline here. Notice that it sees the length right where we needed it here. It sees the video ending here right at the 11727. Click insert. Okay, and we'll uh, play this back from the start. This week. Okay, so we're using these markers, which have helped us identify the points where we're going to have to go in and, and do some editing anyway, I'll be able to change my mood mapping. So I've already got some of the work uh, cut out for me uh, just by having those markers there. So it'll be a lot easier to come in here and just line up with those markers, hit a uh, mood point, and now I can go from full. I can select this and come up here to the properties, I can say that's going to be dialogue. So I've got dialogue there, and let's listen to what that change has made in here. This week on DB Tech Week, it's all about compositing. We talk with the So we can hear that the lead guitar is out now, uh, and it's brought the levels of everything else way down. Well, we want to uh, bring things down a little more when we get to this interview point. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to add another mood marker. 
So I get to play Mix Master here and do a little audio editing of my own. I'm going to bring the drums down just a little bit. I want to keep the bass where it is. That kind of keeps the mood of things coming, uh, going right along there. I'm going to bring the rhythm guitar down just a little and a little bit on the synth too. So let's hear what that sounds like between the uh, voiceover dialogue and then the uh, interview dialogue here. Uh, doing live compositing on TV. Uh, the infamous hologram from the CNN election night cover to put that thing on the air for the... So see, it's not quite drowning him out at this point. We still maintain all the energy. The instruments are there. It doesn't seem like a real shock in uh, the whole thing. Uh, and also it doesn't sound like a real big volume drop. So that's what's really nice about being able to make these adjustments as you go along here. And we can work our way down the timeline and uh, keep adding mood points. But we're going to skip ahead and go right back into Premiere Pro CS5. I'll have this finished audio in there and then continue on with the complete round trip that is the workflow working from Premiere Pro right back into Sonic Fire Pro 5. Okay, we're back in Premiere Pro CS5 and I've got my audio layer in here. And I've got this one spot in here where it gets a little bit too hot too early. So let me just play that back. We'll show you the best practices for using this system as well as some of the pitfalls. Next, we'll okay, so you can see that I'm not done with the voiceover before that uh, lead guitar comes in there. So instead of just trying to tweak audio levels here in Premiere, which is what you have to do with most soundtrack uh, clips that you get. We can go right back to Smart Sound, fix that one little piece, and then it will automatically come right back in here to Premiere. So the way we do that little round trip is we come up here in our project panel, come over here and select the soundtrack file itself, the AIF, come up here to Edit, and then Edit Original. You see that that launches Sonic Fire Pro 5 and it will bring up the actual AIF file, but in a project bringing in the video and everything with it. So now my project's loaded up in Sonic Fire Pro 5 and I can scrub through here. And this is the problem area right in here. So let's take a look and see what's going on. This is for using this system as well as some of the pitfalls. So it looks like the marker that I have here for that is probably a little bit off or we just got a little bit off when we added the mood marker. So I'm going to do two things here. First thing I'll do is just nudge this over just a little bit to try to crop that a little and see what that does. Okay, so it still is kind of fading up a bit. Well, we come over here and change our transition time. We can just grab the slider and drag it down. Okay, and that will shorten our transition time. We'll take a look here system as well as some of the pitfalls. All right, I think that's a lot better. All I have to do now is export this. So go to export soundtrack and export and we're going to save it right over top of the AIF file. Overwrite it. Yes, we'll replace it. And now it will export the changes that we made and when we go back to Premiere, it will automatically pull that in. So we can just go over here to Premiere Here's our project, and we can see that just did a little flash, did a little update here, our specular data changed. Now let's take a listen to this now. Best practices for using this system, as well as some of the pitfalls. Next, we'll be talking about... There we go. Perfect edit. It only took a couple minutes to do that. We didn't have to go in there and tweak any of the audio uh, levels or anything like that in... Uh, Premiere. We just did that. Just a really clean round trip workflow. So I hope this has been helpful showing you that round trip method of creating our soundtrack for Premiere Pro CS5 in Sonic Fire Pro 5. This has been Jeff Foster for Sonic Fire Pro 5.